Let us pray again. O oh God, we thank you for bringing us through another year in which you have blessed us wonderfully. The Apostle Paul spoke of rejoicing in suffering, and there are many who are doing that. We are not asked to enjoy the difficulties themselves, but when we trust you, we find a deepening of our relationship with you and a consequent joy that gives us an advantage over the world and helps us through. May we share that joy with those around us as you direct and enable us. Become as servants of the Almighty God, whose resources are infinite. You have placed us in a world of need, with people starving, suffering poor health, running scared from oppression and persecution. And we pray for all who are trying to provide relief from these physical problems and pray that you will equip them with the resources and encouragement to do your will. We are giving some of our Christmas offering, which is a means of thanking you for your faithful love over the year, to the work of the Barnabas Fund, as they show love in your name. May it be well used, bringing people to look to the God who is doing this for them. There are also spiritual needs. Some have so much in terms of this world's riches, but lack spirituality. They think they are secure, but their world has been rocked by a virus that threatens the economic structures that they trusted. Or maybe it has shaken the bodies of which they were proud. Many are confused and worried, maybe even frightened. They view 2021 with great uncertainty. We would agree that we don't know what lies ahead, but we know someone who does. Someone who loves us and offers a relationship with him through his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, bless the work of the gospel and all who proclaim it, and that means all of us in some role or other. Some of our Christmas offering will go to help the work of Scripture Union. And we thank you for all that they are doing through the restrictions to keep the work of reaching our young people going. We commit plans for the events that they would normally hold in the Eastern Summer Holidays to you, thanking you for the seed that has been sown at these events in days gone past. Bless our own Dave Rickards as he plays his part in this great work. We pray for the seed that has been sown in our parish through prayer walks and openings for prayer in the church building. We thank you for the carol services and those whom you sent along to hear your word. We yearn for the day when we can meet again together and with our own minister. So far, you have not opened any doors, but we beg you to guide the nominating committee to the man whom you have chosen. We are conscious of the needs of so many of our fellowship, who look to you to help them through their pain. For some, it is chronic physical pain. Some are waiting for an operation and are bravely struggling on. Some have serious issues that need a different kind of intervention. And then there are those who find these winter days long and dark in many ways. Lord who loves. Lord who cares, Lord who knows our feeble frames inside out, bless and keep them all. We cannot forget those who mourn and ask for them as they look back on loved ones who are no longer here. Lord, show them your tender care, we ask. We pray for our students and young folk. We thank you for their energy and talents, and may it be used to your glory. Help them in these days of difficulty as they study, looking to a future of fulfilment and service. Especially, we pray for those who are far from home, but we remember those who are at home and dreading coming back to an uncertain situation with the possibility of restricted movement. Bless those who are working hard to teach them at school and university. 
braving infection, or wrestling with technology to overcome the challenges. We thank you for all who are working so hard to maintain our health care. Give them the energy to cope and protect them from the viruses. Help those who are working hard to organise vaccination and be with our authorities as they make hard decisions about how to manage it all. And so we look to the future, giving thanks for past mercies and offering ourselves for your service, merely seeking that your name, the name above all names, is glorified and your kingdom extended. We pray in your name, O King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. We continue our praises with our next song. <laughs> 